All right, we're looking at part two now. And again, it rendered that out pretty well, not too bad. And of course, it embedded our paragraph styles in there for us. Obviously, we're gonna have to make slight changes to these. Obviously, I don't want it to be a P1. I just want it to be, uh, assume me, a PH1 paragraph with the thing of H1. I'm just gonna make them in H2, obviously. Make my life easier. And of course, when I go in here, I'm gonna switch these up to an H1. And an H2. Okay, so that's taken care of. Now, what you'll notice first is the, the first div here will be the overall name of the of the article or excuse me of what we saved our InDesign for. For us, we don't want that. We're gonna make it a container because in HTML, excuse me, in HTML, in jQuery masonry, the overall container or it div is called, well, container. Well, actually you can name it pretty much anything, but consistency because I already have it as far as styles, call it container. And Oh, by the way, also, if you need to look at these, they're, they're in the jQuery uh, masonry um, information set uh, documentation. And let's see. They'll have all your things. They'll, they'll tell you, you know, class, transition, enable, clear, fix. You really want to make sure that you have these in there. And it's always better to copy and paste it if you're afraid you're going to get it wrong. But again, it's in the jQuery masonry documentation. All right, so put it in there. All right. The other thing is, remember all these that we containers here, all these separate divs from the frames. It's just going to call it class of story. Now, for us again, because we're going to render this out to jQuery Masonry, we're going to label them all box because we need that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label each one of my paragraphs a, a class that does not exist yet, and really. It's not. It's a class that is a CSS class, but we're only going to interact with it with jQuery, so we won't even worry about it. So first, for the first paragraph, box. Second, let me just copy and paste and make some of it easier. Third, fourth. All right. And again, reason we're doing that is because we want it to interact and be animated when it goes through. I'm gonna name fourth, so I'm gonna number them so that when we go through and put in the the jQuery masonry, I can then say. Oh, you know, when the screen is this big, do this to this particular class of column. And again, if you looked at the other ones from before, you're familiar with this. All right, so again, those are in there. Pretty simple. We're going to make some additional changes. And again, if you already have these, it, it, it will make your life 10 times easier. But let's look at actually the picture. Again, I would suggest putting these in a CSS file, but for right now, I'm just going to make some moderate changes to the the inline script uh, and then later I'll copy them out and get rid of them because I don't like having an inline script and you shouldn't either that way you can make universal changes instead of larger one, uh, smaller ones uh, one line at a time so um, we're gonna do style and do the width and I'm just gonna make this 100 pixels and also I want to Load it to the right. All right. Save and let's see what we're looking like so far. Actually, you won't see too many changes in this right now. This is what I would suggest, at least for to get a visual cue of where you are. To actually, copy and paste in your jQuery masonry code. Uh, it will give you a better idea of where you are. And what it's going to start to look like. Let me pause for a second. All right, once we pop the jQuery Masonry code in, it will look like this. And we'll start there next time. See ya.